Hey guys, my name is Austin Reed, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to use AI to create amazing Twitter posts. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So I recently got a request from Jason at South Bay Creations to create this video showing how to connect Twitter to NADN, and I thought I would take it a step further and show you guys how to integrate AI into the whole process and build something that will help me create better content for you guys. So here's the game plan. Basically what I want to do is I want to provide a video transcript and a link to the video and I want the AI to automatically create amazing Twitter posts. Now in order to make the Twitter post better we're actually going to grab some posts from Twitter and use them in order to train the AI to make it better. I'll show you guys the process that I use to go ahead and troubleshoot all my prompts and make them better and by the end you'll have a quick chat that you can just post a transcript and a video link and it will automatically post to Twitter and the post came out really really well. Now if you guys would just like to skip the tutorial and just get straight to business I do have the workflow down below that you guys can download so be sure to check that out. Alright so now we're going to extract some Twitter posts okay. I'm gonna do this a quick and dirty way and the reason why is just because I want to get it done. I want to train a quick AI to generate these Twitter posts. That being said there are plenty of really really good Twitter scrapers out there and ideally the more data you have and the better data you have the better this is going to work for you. So the a quick and dirty way we're going to get XPath helper now it seems like this extension might not be supported for very much longer that being said any XPath extension should ideally do the same thing it's unfortunate that this one is being depreciated I really love it but that's okay once you have that installed on your browser go ahead and go to x.com and just search whatever search term you would like then what you're going to do is you're going to right click the text that you want and go inspect element. You notice it highlights this span here. Now that's exactly what we want. So we're gonna right click that span and go copy. We're gonna do the full X path, okay? We're gonna go back to the browser. We're gonna click here and we're going to paste it in. Now you can see that the text is here and I'm just gonna explain briefly what XPath is. So XPath basically is using a search filter to find code snippets in HTML that could possibly repeat themselves. And so all we have to do is figure out where in the HTML the code actually repeats and then we can grab the Twitter posts. Now that sounds complicated, but I have a really, really easy way of just grabbing all the Twitter posts on the page, okay? We can simply just delete the number five at the end and start deleting some of these other numbers and eventually one of them will pop up with all the text, right? So let's try this number six here and see what happens. So we'll delete the number six and now all of a sudden we get 44 results. This isn't all the posts, but you can see it's various posts. Now I knew it was the number six because I've tested this, but you can essentially do this to any web page across the internet and it should work given the HTML structure of the website. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab these posts. If you want more posts, you can scroll down. One thing I do notice that Twitter does is it loads more posts at the bottom and it unloads posts at the top. So you have to scroll a bit, extract some posts, scroll a bit more, extract some posts, scroll a bit more, extract some posts. Just so you have a heads up. I'm gonna go ahead and make a new notepad and we're going to go ahead and save this. Now you can see I've done a couple of different other search terms. Ideally you want as many as you can. All right, so now that we have our Twitter posts extracted, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a GPT assistant. Now I'm using the assistants because it's a lot easier and it's a lot quicker. So, and it, it's good enough for the use case that we're using. So let's jump right in. So go ahead and go to platform openai.com forward slash playground forward slash assistance. I'll leave the link down below for you guys and make a new one. I'm calling mine Twitter post generator and I went ahead and made this cool little prompt. Now I actually went to GPT and told it to make me a prompt. It gave me a prompt, this one right here. It was okay, but I had to tweak it, okay? So I took this as a base. I threw it in here and I kind of changed it. So here is the prompt as follows. Generate one Instagram post based on the topic and information given to you. Each post should follow this format. Short, engaging text, one to two sentences that addresses the topics provided. You can use emotional, relational, cognitive biases, or other types of psychology to help the post to be more shocking, making the user want to react to it more. Each post should contain one to three related 
related hashtags and include two to three related emojis. The style should be conversational and approachable as seen in the example posts I provided. Make sure each post is unique and insightful. If I provide a link and a transcript text, please use those as well to construct the post. Wonderful, all right, so now that we've got our prompt, click save, and then you can go ahead and add your files. Just click add files here. I went ahead and added my files already. As you can see, I already have three files. These are the posts that we scraped earlier. Um, and I believe we're good to go. So now in order to connect this, let's hop over to N8N. Now I made a new workflow. I called it Twitter posts. And we're going to add an open AI node, okay? we're going to message an assistant. I'm gonna go ahead and connect it. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to do this really quick even though I already have my credential. We're gonna click create new credential. We're gonna go back over to the assistant's playground, click on dashboard, click on API keys. We'll create a new key, call it whatever you want. You can copy the key. I'm gonna delete this key here in a second so go ahead and copy it all you want. I'm gonna delete this. Paste that in and click save. And as you can see, it does work. All right, so now that we have that done, let's go ahead and message the assistant from Twitter post generator. And we're going to define our prompt below. So now we're ready to start doing stuff. So the next thing we gotta do is hook up Twitter, obviously, but I don't wanna hook up Twitter yet until I know that this is coming out with some good Twitter posts, right? So let's go ahead and test it out. I'm going to provide it with a transcript from one of my videos, and I'm going to tell it to make a simple Twitter post about the transcript promoting the video on Twitter, and let's see what it comes up with. All right, so I just generated a Twitter post. Now, one thing to quickly mention, I forgot this, but we need to actually take the input from the previous node automatically since we're using the chat message received and we're not actually combining it with any other information at the moment. Now, the output we got was this output, which for a Twitter post is pretty good, but I think that it's a little bit spammy. So I'm going to tweak the prompt a little bit and get back to you guys with a slightly better prompt that does not quite sound so spammy. All right, so I went ahead and tweaked the prompt quite a bit and came out with a Twitter post that I'm pretty happy with. Now, of course, you guys are gonna have to go through this process as well yourselves, but just to show you guys the prompt I was using, I went ahead and added down here an example of what not to do, an example of a better idea of a post. And then I told it, if I provide a video, don't sound super spammy. Don't say check out my video or anything like that. Make the post user and value focused. Do not use words like I, me, or my. Instead, keep the post you and your focused. Okay, so I changed one thing. Make sure each post is unique and insightful. If I provide a transcript text, please use that to help construct the post. If I provide a link, please embed it in the post. Now, I think the reason why the AI is having a little bit of trouble with this is because the posts that I originally scraped were pretty bad. My niche, for some reason, isn't very popular like yet in Twitter. Therefore, there wasn't a lot of really high quality tweets for me to gleam from. And so I'm just mimicking other people on Twitter who are very selfish or spammy with their tweets. And the AI is just just kind of doing that because that's what I gave it. So keep in mind guys, the quality of the files that you provide, of the posts that you provide to train the AI is extremely important. So if you think all this prompting business is a little bit hard and you'd like a little bit of help, I do offer free 15 minute calls where I provide you value directly on the call. So if you'd like that, go ahead and click the link down below. Okay, so let's add the X node. All right, we're going to create a tweet. Let's create a new credential. Now, we do have some documentation on how to use OAuth 2 here. I pretty much followed it cut and dry for you guys. I will leave a link to that in the description below. So we're going to go over to our X developers portal, okay? I'll leave a link to that in the description below as well. Now we're gonna go to project and apps, and we're gonna click here. Now if you don't have a app, you can click up here and just create one. Um, but since I already have one, I just click here. It's got a weird name, obviously. That's okay. We're gonna go down to user authentication settings. We're gonna set this up. Let's add read and write credentials. 
we're going to do a web app here. Now our callback URL is going to be this one right here. Go back over here. We're going to go to the website URL, which is required. And the rest is optional, so we're going to click Save. Changing permissions might affect your app. That is fine. Then we get the client ID and the client secret. We're going to paste that. And we're going to paste that. And now we're going to click Connect My Account. It's going to bring up this pop-up window. I'm going to select my account that I'm currently using. And it seems to have worked. We'll close that out. Let's just double check. Oh, maybe sometimes you have to do it twice. I'm just going to click Authorize App here. And it says Account Connected. Beautiful. All right. Now we're good to go. Now what we can do is we can just add the output here to the text. Now this next one will have a link, I'm pretty sure. Let's just go ahead and make a tweet. Let's see what it looks like. So I'm going to go over and grab the prompt I was using. Same prompt as I was using before. We should be able to chat and then it creates a tweet. Let's hit enter. See what happens. Beautiful. So unlock the power of Notion by seamlessly connecting it with N8N. Ready to elevate your productivity and automate your workflows like never before. Let's jump into this tutorial. See, that sounds like a much better post, right? And it includes the link. All right, now let's see if it posted. So let's go over to x.com, go to my account here. And dude, that looks beautiful, except for this right here doesn't quite look right. Other than that, I think we're good. So let me change the prompt here to fix that. And we'll try again. All right, so I did change the prompt a little bit more. So right here I added, if I provide a link, please embed it in the post. When providing the link, just put the link in plain text and nothing else. Make sure to use the same link that I provide. And then I went ahead and removed the formatting from the two examples down below just because sometimes ChatGPT will get in kind of a repetitive notion based on the prompt that you give it. So I wanna just make sure that I feed it a slightly better example. So let's go ahead and try it one final time just to make sure it's working right and just to get a post on my Twitter profile. So let's go ahead and hit enter and see what happens. Ready to supercharge your Notion experience? Connecting N8N with Notion opens up a world of automation possibilities. Don't miss out on making your workflow seamless and efficient. Dive into the details. Notion N8N automation magic with a link. And let's refresh my Twitter page and we can see it posted the right video with the right text. It looks beautiful. Uh, this is something that my assistants are going to really, really love to use. It's going to help them save a lot of time. So I hope that this video helped you guys out. If you guys would like to supercharge your workflow even more, I have a video about how to automatically post blogs to WordPress. So make sure to check that out. You guys remember to like, comment, subscribe, and have a wonderful day.